Hello again, and welcome to another video. Welcome to Mike's Retro Tech and the Retro Loft, and another Einstein video today. I thought I'd mix it up a bit because I'd done some recent synth videos and some Spectrum videos, and huh, the soldering iron video, which um, seemed to be successful. Um, I turned it on this morning and the magic smoke appeared. So I think it's completely broken. I'm going to have to buy a new one. Um, I might bite the bullet this time and buy one with a heat station on it, just so I've got the right kit to do what I need to do. Anyway, enough of that. Today, as you can see in front of me, I have a fine array of components. I've got my breadboard. Um, yeah, with... Which way does it go? Lines going that way. That's fine. Yep. And then I've got many, many resistors and an audio output. So I'm going to try today, if I can. There was actually something else. What was there? Oh, yes. I know what there was. Yes. I've got a cable. And I've also got a bag of goodies. I've got, oh, no, not that, that's my serial port, oh, nice, so I've got a user port connector for the Tatung Einstein, actually I've got quite a few <clears throat> with, with sockets as well. So I'm thinking maybe what I do with this is I make a socket and then a double-ended cable, possibly. So I'm going today to try and make the Einstein digital audio connector, the DAC hardware that goes on the user port. Now I've got in front of me here on my laptop a copy of Einstein Monthly. It was, it was that Einstein Monthly, October 88, volume two, number three. And there was an article that said, Jeff Karthauser throws a few resistors together to produce polyphonic hi-fi from Albert. Now what that means is that he created a resistor ladder, um, which is used to output audio. Now this I believe is the same as the um, Kovox speech, Thing, sound thing I want to say anyway one of the LPT port devices that you can get for the PC it's the same as that so I've got my diagram I've got all my resistor values and they're on the screen here so it starts at R1 goes to R2 R3 R4 all the way down to R20 there's connector lines that wires that connect all of these together and then there's the audio output which is that that goes there between those two and then this end here should go to that which in turn will go to that by the cable to plug in to the user port on the Einstein now you can also do it to the printer port I believe but because I've already got a printer cable and the only thing I've got plugged into the user port at the moment is the mouse which I don't use all the time so I think I will use that and then hopefully this will go nicely in there and we will have DAC audio hardware. Unfortunately, I've got no software that uses it. Um, there were two, I believe from here, two um, public domain software available on, yes, so music.com and you can use install.com apparently on that to tell it to use the output of the printer port or the user port and it uses the Z80 PIO ports which I suppose are the same as the GPIO ports on a Raspberry Pi anyway that's the kit I'm going to organize it now with the ones that I need and then we will start on here and build up from the bottom to the top and see exactly how much of this I can make without breaking it. Because yeah, I probably will break it because that's what I tend to do. I'm a bit rubbish at this sort of thing. Um, center pin. 
is that one. So centre pin goes that way. Yes, I'm going to need to uh, work this out and then come back to you and see whether I can break it or not. But I'll try it and see. So first off, <clears throat> I really need to count how many of these resistors I'm going to use on these traces. Um, as you can see, the board's slightly bent, <clears throat> but it is one of those things. It's the only one I've got, so um, we'll just have to see. So I'm doing it on my laptop here so I can see. So one, two, three, four, and they're spaced out. So one, two... One, two, three, four, 20. Yes, yes, I think we've got enough of those up here, so that's fine. So what I'll do first is I will add the hardware, I think, without the resistors. Um, so as I say, I've got this really gnarly mono audio jack. Um, and it really, really is very dodgy, very noddy. And needs a damn good clean to be fair so let's try and clean it first if we can let's see if it will let me clean this with my solder braid Needs a clean, it's got a dirty end. Don't know what all that is on there, there's some sort of sold detritus on it. Yeah. Not good. Made it smell of plastic, but there we go. That's as clean as I'm going to get that. And that one as well. Right, good. Okay. So what we're saying is that this one, they leave one spare at the bottom, and then that one, which is the centre pin, and that's the outside pin, so centre pin goes on there like so. Now, do we do it that way? So at least there's one. Yeah, maybe I do it that way then. So at least there's, all, there's, there's one on the trace. And it's, um, where's my solder? There's my solder. There we go. So that is the audio socket attached. As you can see there, the audio socket centre pin goes to the second track, outside pin goes to the fourth track, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, that's fine. So now I need to do R19 and R20 first and put those on and then I don't know, it, it may come to about here, and then I can just saw the board off there, and then, you know, have a tiny little board, which would be really good. So I'll find what resistors 19 and 20 are now, and I'll get some of those out, and then I will um, solder them onto the board. So what I've done now, what I've done now, is I've split my page in half, because it was on the back side. So I'm going to do resistor 19 and resistor 20. And from here, I know it's crossed out, because that's when I bought them, I crossed them out, but resistor 19 is 100 ohms, 
and resistor 20 is 47 ohms. So if we look here, we've got 47 ohms and 100 ohms. So that's really cool. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, there's eight. So there's eight wires that I need to put in. So really we need to go, what do we need to do? That's middle for diddle, isn't it? So we could do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then nine for the resistor, 10, 11, 12, right. Let's do it to there then, shall we? To there like that. So that's where we're gonna cut off and that'll be as wide as the board is. So hopefully that'll be good enough. So what I can do, I can say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. So I can put, I can put them on there, but I've got to do them the opposite way around now because this is the underside of the board and this is the bit that's got the, that's the bit that's got the, um, the solder on. So, R19 is the 100 ohms. So, let's take 100 ohms out. I never know which way these go. By the looks of things, I don't think it matters. So what I'll do is I'll put these in here. So we're doing what we're doing. That's where the cable's going to go. That's a spare one. This then there. So that goes in there. And it also goes in there like so. Okay, so we did have a short. It turns out, can I see it from here, that this rail there, for some reason, shorts out on both of those two. I think the rail itself is faulty. So what I've done is I've taken off the pin that connects the top, which is that rail there, and the pin that connects the bottom, which is that rail there, and I've moved them across this way. So there's the bottom. So they're all together in line. So they're all bunched up there like that. And then that's on the top one. Now hopefully that should work the same way. But I'm not sure. So it could be that it needs to be in line as opposed to being just like that. It could be the flow of the, the electric. But anyway, that's all done now. So I'm going to try and test it and see whether or not I can blow up my Einstein. No, no, not blow up my Einstein. I'm going to see whether this works now, but I'm going to have to program it in basic because I don't think we've got any programs that will actually work with it but anyway I'll, I'll try and connect up to the uh, to the Einstein and see whether this works we'll have to see what happens <laughs> 